We start our inspection process with the magnetic switch also known as solenoid. Inspect plunger for wear. Replace if necessary. Pull out the plunger and release it. The spring inside move the plunger back to its original place quickly. If not, replacement is necessary. There are two coils inside the magnetic switch, the pull-in and the hold-in coil. The pull-in coil connects between the S and M terminals, the hold-in coil connects between S terminal and ground through coil case. Check for continuity across magnetic switch S and M terminal. If no continuity exists, pull-in coil is open and should be replaced. Check for continuity across magnetic switch S terminal and coil case. If no continuity exists, hold-in coil is open and should be replaced. Measure the length of carbon brushes and compare them with the manufacturer recommended value. Replace if they worn out too much. Check for the continuity between lead wire brushes. If no continuity exists, lead wire along with brushes should be replaced. There are two stator coils. Each coil has two windings. One end of each coil is body grounded and the other end is connected to the carbon brush. Check for the continuity between field coils carbon brushes. Continuity should exist. Otherwise the whole yoke assembly need to be rewind or replaced. Next we will perform armature ground test. Between commutator segments an armature core should be insulated and no continuity should exist. Check for continuity between the consecutive commutator segments. If there is no continuity at any test point, there is an open circuit and whole armature is to be replaced. Check commutator for run out with armature supported on V-blocks and compare out of round value with the manufacturer recommendations. Correct it by using lathe if required. Check for wear and replace armature if diameter is below the prescribed manufacturer limit. The power is transmitted through the splines on shaft, meshes with the internal splines of outer race of overrunning clutch. When the outer race is rotated, the rollers get trapped between outer and inner race and transfer power to pinion. When engine gets started and drives pinion at high speed, the rollers get released and power transfer is stopped. Hold the outer race of overrunning clutch and rotate the pinion in reverse direction of drive. The pinion should rotate smoothly in reverse direction. Now, when pinion is rotated in the direction of drive, it should locks up. Shaft is supported at either ends with the help of brass bushes. Rock the front and rear housings back and forth. If the play is too much, the bushes have been worn out and new bushes are to be installed.